dangerously exposed to any possible macroeconomic shock. That were the words from the National Audit Office, a warning to the French lawmakers and the government at the moment to try to ensure that the future direction of the country takes into account fiscal stability and financial responsibility. We know that the public deficit in France has been rising. Structural reforms have been delayed. There's been no room for manoeuvre in terms of servicing France's high public debt and also with its deficit in excess of EU limits. Now, Emmanuel Macron has said that France will try to make sure that its uh, debt is within EU limits, that deficit within EU limits by 2027, but at the moment to try to make any political promises in the state of political deadlock that we're in is very challenging. And Ross, how, how does the, the political stalemate complicate the situation? Well, there's a hung parliament. There's no one party with a majority. The uh, government is just a holding government at the moment because it's based on the results of the election in 2022, which also uh, produced no uh, clear majority. There is a cabinet me meeting on Tuesday morning, local time here, being chaired by Emmanuel Macron, and we could well see a resolution come out of that. Likelihood uh, that some people believe, could we see a new prime minister, Gabriel Attal, resigned uh, uh, the day after? After the election, on the 8th of July, the current Prime Minister, Emmanuel Macron, refused to accept that resignation. And so he has been in place for stability, but he could well be removed, replaced on Tuesday. So it will be worth uh, checking in then to see the state of play regarding the political machinations at the moment, the discussions on the left. They want the next Prime Minister to come from the left. They can't agree. It's four parties under one umbrella. They've all got their own candidates they would like to see a Prime Minister. So they haven't agreed, despite the fact they're the biggest party in the new parliament as a whole, all four of them, the biggest block is coming from the left. They can't decide on who should be prime minister, but we could well see that power-sharing agreement between Emmanuel Macron, the centrist president, and a new prime minister who's not centrist if, after this cabinet meeting on Tuesday, there is a resolution.